What's up YouTube? So today we're gonna focus on how to get out of debt. And we're gonna use a method by the world famous Mr. Dave Ramsey himself. It's called the debt snowball method. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So keep it locked in. We're gonna get right into it. Also, if you would like to pick up this book, the link is in the description below. You can get your own copy of this book right here, The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey himself, by clicking the link below. You can get a paperback edition, and also I'll put the link in for the ebook version, as well as if you have an Apple iPhone or iPad or a MacBook, you can use the link for the iBooks um, version of this book. So click the link in below if you want your copy of Dave Ramsey's book, Total Money Makeover. So the debt snowball method. This method is basically listing all your debts from smallest to largest, not based off interest rates, but literally the total balance of the debt, you will list them from smallest to largest. The focus here is to pay off the smallest debt first, and then that minimum you was paying on that small debt, you will incorporate that into the next payment of the second um, smallest debt. And with that, you just keep rolling over until that one's paid off. And then you will take the minimum payments you was taking from the first two, and you will add that to the minimum of the third smallest. That way you're knocking out big chunks of payments and you're getting those paid off quicker. The reasoning behind this is you want a quick win, according to Dave, um, Dave Ramsey. A quick win is basically like a hurrah. It's when you start seeing progress. He described in his book, like, if you're trying to lose weight, if you lose weight within the first week of trying to lose weight, you'll be more uh, motivated to keep trying, keep working out. But that first week, if you're not seeing any progress, you'll be less likely to keep working out. So that's kind of the mindset um, that, he's, that he's referring to in the debt snowball. It's basically just changing your mindset about debt. And when you start seeing debt disappear from your list, things being paid off, you get more excited and more motivated and more anxious to get the next debt taken off. And you want to keep doing these until all your debts are taken, are completely gone. You want to keep doing this debt snowball method. And that's part of his baby steps. He has baby steps he's talking about, but this is within baby step number two. Of course, baby step number one is that you need to have a thousand dollars in a savings account for an emergency fund in case you know your tire go out, um, blown tires, things in around the house, just a small emergency fund. He says you definitely need to have at least one thousand dollars in a savings account for some kind for some type of emergency. Now, while you're on baby step number two, which is the debt snowball, which we're talking about today. Suppose you do have an emergency, um, washer machine goes out or something like that, and you need to tap into that $1,000 emergency fund. So according to the book, what you would do is you would take care of that issue. Suppose that washer machine costs like $500. So now you're down to $500 on your emergency fund. So what you would do is you would go to the debt snowball, you will, resort, you will pull back and start only paying the minimums on those debts. And then you will focus on getting that emergency fund back up to $1,000, which is very important in case you have another emergency. So if you have to, so let's reiterate, while you're doing the death snowball method, if you've already saved a $1,000 emergency fund, which you should, because that's baby step number one, if you have to tap into that emergency fund, whatever amount that you took out, you need to, on the debt snowball method, you need to apply the minimum bound, the minimal payment to the debt snowball method. And you need to make sure you re replenish that savings account and get it back up to that $1,000 threshold. Once you get it back up to the $1,000 threshold, then you resort back to the debt snowball method of paying off the smallest debt first and working your way up to the largest. I hope that helped. 
I'll give you a little uh, example of a little spreadsheet to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Cause I know we have visual learners, but I hope that really helped. This is Dave Ramsey's How to Get Out of Debt Snowball Method. I'm on DaveRamsey.com for those that are interested. This is basically a debt snowball method I was talking about. So he breaks down how does the debt snowball method work. You can read this all for yourself on the Dave Ramsey website. Like I said, it's step one, list your debts from smallest to largest regardless of interest rate. Step two, make minimal payments on all your debts except the smallest. Step number three, pay as much as possible on your smallest debt. And step four, repeat until each debt is paid in full. And that's the debt snowball method. And also, this is his website. You can sign up for all this stuff if you like. Um, like I said, I have the uh, actual book link to the book in the description below. But yeah, his website gives you all this information on all this financial. Um, his website gives you all kinds of financial tips on how to get out of debt as well as build for the future. This right here actually gives you an example of the debt snowball. Say you have four debts, $500 medical bill, $50 payment, $2,500 credit card debt, $63 payment, $7,000 car loan, which is $135 payment monthly. And you have $10,000 student loan, which is $96 per month. So basically using the debt snowball method, you make minimum payments on everything else except for that medical bill. So you will try your best to knock out that medical bill as fast as possible. And then once you pay off that medical bill, I'm not gonna read it word for word, but I'm just telling you basically what it states. Once you pay off that medical bill, the next bill you'll try to knock out will be that credit card debt. You take the minimal payment and you add it to the other minimal payment and as whatever else you can knock out to add towards it and you knock out that credit card debt and so on and so forth. Once you knock off that credit card debt, you start working on that car loan and you knock out that debt. You add the, the, um, the minimum you was paying for that medical bill and the minimum you was paying for that credit card debt and you add it to that minimum to that car loan and whatever else you can throw at that car loan, you try to get it done as fast as possible. But if you read the whole paragraph here, he gives a very detailed example of how quickly you can knock that out by using the debt snowball method. And once again, that's how you do it. Hope you guys have a great day. That's DaveRamsey.com. You can go to his website. You can browse the, uh, his website. And like I said, you can click the link below to actually get a copy of the book. You guys have an awesome day. Awesome, awesome day. And thank you for tuning in to Rituals. Till next time, peace. This is Dave Ramsey's Debt Snowball Method, and it really helps if you follow it you stay determined, you stay consistent to pay off your debt. Remember, pay off the smallest debt first, then work your way up to the second smallest, the third smallest, the fourth smallest, so on and so on. So you pay the smallest debt to the largest debt, and that's how you get out of debt. Once again, you can pick up this book by clicking the link in the descriptions below. He has spreadsheets in this book also of the debt snowball method. Um, you can get this on paperback. You can also get this in ebook e form. I have the link for that as well as you can get it on Apple iBooks. That's on the Mac, uh, Apple iPhone and Apple iPad. Um, they have the book app and uh, you can actually get that book on there. I'll leave the link for all three of those. It's only one link so you can once you download it or purchase it, you can use it on all those. You can share it. You can work. You, you can read the book on your iPhone. You can read the book on your iPad, or you can read the book on your computer. Um, and like I said, I also have the link for Amazon if you want the paperback, the hardback edition. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just baby step number two. We're talking about the debt snowball method, and uh, baby step number one. I didn't do a video on that, but it's pretty simple. You want to save a thousand dollars for the emergency fund. That's the first goal. Save $1,000 for your emergency fund. With that being said, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. 
Our numbers are growing. I really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate the support. Like I said, I'm doing more and more financial videos because the name of the channel is Rituals. And the reason why it's named Rituals is because I coined that term. And that term means daily practice of building wealth. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to build wealth because the ultimate goal is financial freedom. And once you become financially free, you can therefore do things for others. And that's the ultimate goal, financial freedom. And then you can help others because the world, we should all be helping each other accomplish goals in life. And that's what we're trying to do. So pick up this book. If you want to become debt free, reading the book will not make you debt free, but reading the book and then applying the, the tools, the knowledge within this book will help you become debt free. It takes a lot, a lot of work, takes a lot of effort. Knowledge that's not being applied is useless. So remember that you have to apply the knowledge. With that being said, hope you guys have a great day. I know you will have a great day because you should claim it. You guys are going to have a great day. Thank you for subscribing. I know you subscribe because I'm going to claim it. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it on a serious note. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. Peace.